Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel CAD tutorials for beginners. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the standard views in Katia drafting. So we have already uh, learned the initial settings required for the drafting in the earlier tutorial. We have also discussed about how to add the title block in the Katia sheet and how to change the sheet size. So also we have learned how to set the pro projection method in the earlier tutorial. So let's start with the drawing environment. So here again uh, there are two types of ways uh, to start the drafting environment in Katia. So you can go with the start, mechanical design and drafting and another way is file and new and here you will find the drawing type. So now we will use the start mechanical design sorry go to the start mechanical design and drafting environment so here uh, we have uh, we have selected empty sheet in the earlier tutorial now we will see all views front bottom and right and top front top and left so first select all views option and we will keep this as it is just click on ok see how we will how it will create the views so as you can see here uh, the views are automatically created depending upon the picture shown there so in this way you can automatically create the views another way we'll see now so again go to the start mechanical design and drafting and here instead of this all views we will select front bottom and right and just click on ok so now you can see only three view uh, will be created here you can see there are three views and we can set these views within this sheet so again we will see the third mode again go to the start go to the mechanical design and go to the drafting and here the third one is front top and left so again the three view will be created and we can set it within this sheet depending upon the scales so these are the automatic ways we are definitely not going to use this type of options and we'll go with the manual mode with the empty sheet so just select the empty sheet So here we'll select the empty sheet and just click on OK. So now you can see uh, the blank sheet is created and here you can double click on it to select the sheet. So now first we will set the sheet background and we'll add the title block in it. So go to the edit, go to the sheet background and in the sheet background uh, you need to add the frame and the title block. Just click on it. and here we will select the sample just select any of any one of it so click on ok so it takes some time and you can see the title block is created so again uh, go back to the working views go to the edit and working views so here in the title block you can see uh, the required details so you can see the projection method, you can see the sheet size, you can see the uh, name and you can uh, provide a title, date, checked by, designed by and the dates are there. Also there is a scale mention over there, you can uh, provide the weight and drawing number. So in this way uh, the title block can be added and now we will see uh, the views. So as we have seen in the earlier tutorial the important toolbars so we can see here the view toolbar and in this first we need to place the front view so which is the base view so click on the front view then we need to switch the window to the cat, cat part that is the part design and here we need to select you can see here you can see uh, the views depending upon the view orientation you can select the views so i will select this as a front view 
and just click on the outside of that view so you can see the front view is created and you can see the down below the naming label is there front view and scale is one is to one so now uh, this is the front view and based on this front view uh, we can uh, use the option that is projection view and we can create the another views like top view and the side views so let's click on this and you can see uh, the side view is created similarly if you select this one you can create the top view as well so in this way you can create this view but now as you can see uh, only front view can manage to uh, fit in the sheet so we need to fit the we need to select the scales so i will delete this views first and here i can go to the properties right click and go to the properties and here you can provide the different parameters such as angle if you want the view to to be at an angle then you can provide the angle here let's try and you can see it will create the orientation of the front view at a 10 degree so i will keep this as zero and now i will make this scale one by two so you can see uh, the scale is half now and you can just drag it anywhere within the sheet so again if you want to reduce it you can reduce it to one by four or one by three whatever will be the requirement and just click ok so now i will make use of projection command projection view and i will create this view there's a top view again i will create one more view this is a side view so you can see this is a left view and uh, the scale you can see here one one is to two and here as well it is a top view scale is one is to two so these are the standard views in cartier drafting so also we will create the isometric view you can see the option available in the view toolbar so click on the isometric view again switch these tabs into the part design and here i will select this view over here and just click on the outside of the view so again we will just double click on this to select the particular view and right click on it go to the properties and here again i will try to make this as one by one is to two and just click on ok and you can see this is a isometric view or you can again reduce the scale but i will keep this as it is so now uh, we'll see uh, some more options available in the properties so again double click on the front view and go to the properties so here uh, if you if you want to add some features like dress up features so if you want to show the hidden lines you can check this hidden line on so you can see in the hidden lines are showing if you want to show the axis you have to select the axis you can see this axis available now again the center lines if you want to show the center line you can uh, select this one so uh, again if you want to change the view name then you can just type in here or here and you can change the view name just close this so now uh, I, I i just want to uh, show the center line over here but it is not possible to show this center line so i will go to the cat part and i will make this sketch activated you can see uh, it is show and now again i will go to the drawing environment and once after the modification you need to click on the update you can see the update current sheet or you can use the shortcut control u so just update it and now again i will go to the properties and here i will select the 3d wireframe and just click on ok and you can see you will be able to see this center line over here so you can change the 
line type by just selecting these lines and in this option you can select the center line so you can see this is a support toolbar and this is a graphic properties so in this way uh, you can make some changes in the standard views so in the upcoming tutorial uh, we will discuss about the uh, section views available in Katia v5 drafting so that's it for this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do share and subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos thank you